My head is saying no, but my heart keeps giving in. My name is Gerald Williamson, also known as Jerry. Uh, I'm a foreign teacher here and I arrived in August 2019. I was working in a hospital, I was an administrator for about seven years. Uh, and I thought now is a great time to change careers and do something different. Massive. It was going to be massive because essentially I was leaving my comfort zone, leaving everything I know to go into a situation where, honestly, I'm incredibly uncomfortable and I know that I don't know much of anything. Uh, but it was also a huge challenge and an incentive. So because of that, it was like, well, why not? Why not do it? So, regret, I think. And it be regret, I think, when I got older, sat myself down and reflected on my life. I wouldn't have been able to live with. You know, now is a great time, a great opportunity to come to China, live in China, work in China. That maybe, you know, a year from now, two years from now, even five years from now, it might not be possible. That took a long time. Uh, I think teaching and teaching overseas, teaching English, that was a goal of mine for more than 10 years, right? But it's kind of like what they say about most dreams and most goals, right? It doesn't shout at you kind of whispers and it gets quieter and quieter as you get older and the longer you leave it. it. wasn't that difficult, right? How much money would I need to move? Turns out it wasn't that much. And it turns out I was perfectly able to do all of those things. It was just fear, right? Because I was so comfortable where I was at home in my job. I think deep down, if I was to be really honest with myself, was I happy? No. Was it what I wanted? No. And I think it was admitting that to myself and fully accepting it that was the most difficult thing. Uh, probably teaching online. That could have been something that was supplemental to my current job at the time. But I knew I also wanted to travel. Also knew I wanted to see a different culture, be fully immersed in a different culture. You know, uh, there's a really interesting saying that says, whatever country you're in, if you have Chinese food in that country, it's not real, it's not authentic. Right? You have to go to the country to actually have the country's food. And that's a powerful thing. Right. So even just talking to them during the interview, it was like, why not come here? You know, it sounds very, very woo-woo, and I'll continue to say it, but it felt right. And the only reason why I didn't say yes straight away was just because I had other interviews lined up. I got a lot of information, you know, in terms of how things work. There was enough key information for me to say, okay, I know enough about how this works. Am I willing to accept it? And the answer was, yes, yes I am. To be honest, the language barrier is, is the biggest one, still is. Now, as much as I say that's a challenge, it isn't really because you can get around using the translation app on your smartphone. But I think for me, I'm craving that authentic experience. Um, I want to be able to communicate with them directly. So I'm actively taking classes. The school offers uh, Chinese language classes in HSK1. Uh, I'm working through the workbook and I'm hoping that in my interactions with all the local people I'm slowly beginning to pick things up. The only other challenges I had really, getting around initially, but generally getting around the city is quite easy. You know there are lots of buses, taxis are really really good. I'm unofficially the taxi king because I take taxis everywhere but um, you know I think advice to other people would be as soon as you can get an e-bike or a bike you probably end up seeing much more of the city that way you're much more free rather than being dependent on waiting for a bus or waiting for a taxi <laughs> I have a Chinese family uh, their shop is literally just outside the complex where I live and we go and we have dinner you know and it's as easy as that so even if you're worried about not knowing anyone that takes care of itself. I mean, within the school itself, there are so many clubs and associations that are doing so many different things. Well, I'll be honest, I try to keep an open mind in terms of my expectations, but I have to say that so far I've had an amazing time. So, yeah, I just hope that that continues for the rest of my time here. If I was to give any advice to anybody who's kind of in between things or not really sure of what to do or looking for an interesting career, I would say, yeah, come to China, teach.